Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Jasmine, aka Budget Treasures. And if this is your very first time joining my business, my, my, not my business. <laughs> if this is your very first time checking out my uh, channel, hello, welcome. Here on my channel, we talk about all things finance. We talk about um, saving money. I am a cash stuffer. I'm also a zero-based uh, budgeter as well. Um, in this particular video, I am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes. I am also going to be setting myself up uh, to create a buffer in my bill account. So I am actually going to be suspending my uh, sinking funds or contributing to my sinking funds for the month of August. So I'm going to set that up here. So I'm hoping um, that that will be valuable to someone watching. If you are looking to create a buffer in your account, this will basically show you how you can do that. And um, basically, let's go ahead and get, well, actually, before we get started, sorry guys, I'm going to put my phone on vibrate. So before we get started, um, I am going to be doing a different kind of shout out today. Today I just want to shout out everyone who has been hitting these milestones. I want to give a shout out to KCJ Budget. She did hit a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited for you. I also want to give a shout out to um, Plan Your One Life. She hit a thousand subscribers as well. Those were the two shout outs that I've given on my page lately. And then I also want to give a shout out to two sub two um, cash stuffers who I just recently found out about and I am really enjoying their page and so the first person is uh, Miss Taylor Budge Budgets girl you are doing your thing just keep on going I see you out there shining and I'm so proud of you she just paid off her credit card y'all and if you are not um, already subscribed to her channel I definitely encourage that you do so but I'm sure a lot of you do because she is already 20,000 plus subscribers so you go ahead girl and then the next person that I um, have recently recently found out about is oh my fro budgets so she is also killing it in the game she is an entrepreneur and she is showing how you can stuff your cash envelopes being an entrepreneur and so i just want to shout out these queens for just really busting it out and doing the doggone thing okay so let's go ahead and get started so i have had my cash in my wallet for about a week now um, I've been so busy with work this week that I was not able to film a video so let's just get started so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty out any of the envelopes that we have so I don't have anything in there and the eating out I have five dollars in the allowance I have one penny and a nickel household I have five dollars and a nickel the coins I just put them in here because sometimes you know when you're in the line and you're using cash and people just look at you like you're taking way too long there's another five dollar bill I don't have anything in giving and I don't have it oh, and then I have a five dollar bill in my five dollar envelope so these are going to be contributed to my $5 savings challenge. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And these coins are going to go into the coin jar. I don't have any other coins. Oh, I do have more coins in here. This just shows you how much I've been out this week, you guys. I haven't been out at all. I mean, work had me so busy this week. Left. So let's go ahead and put these coins in here. I do not stick the coins in the little slit here because it just takes too long. And then we're gonna put our $5 bills in our jar there, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna be stuffing a total of $210. And really, I only took out 20s and 5s. And the reason for that is because I really just did not feel like sitting in the line. Um, I went to a different bank and they had a line and I didn't feel like sitting in it. So, um, groceries is going to get $100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Okay. 
So eating out is going to get $20. I probably will not end up using this, but I did give myself an eating out budget because things have been so hectic and busy lately that I just want to be realistic. And even though I don't want to eat out, because things are so busy, sometimes I might have to eat out. So I'm being realistic with myself and I'm giving myself $20. Next is toiletries, which is going to get $30. 20, 25, 30. I went out of order. And then household is going to be getting $30. $20.30. And then the last thing that I am going to be stuffing today is my saving challenge, which is going to get $30. That is, this is my sinking funds binder. So here, this $30 was from here. So this money I am using for Christmas. So this is the reason why I am still going to complete the 52 week challenge. All right, now what I'm gonna be doing is setting up my the amount of money that I'm actually going to be saving for my bill account buffer okay but before I do that I want to recognize all of the envelopes that I will continue to stuff because that's going to be very important because um, some of the sinking funds I am still going to stuff even though I am suspending sinking funds so Let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm just gonna call this the bill account buffer project. I guess, I don't know. I always try to come up with some trendy names. So I might change it, I don't know. But for right now, this is the bill account buffer project. And I am going to be using some highlighters just to make it fancy. I love highlighters. I just think it makes things look festive and I'm real festive. And so this is August of 2021. Okay, so envelopes that I will continue to stuff. Now my daily envelopes are different from my sinking funds, okay? So of course, my daily envelopes, I'm gonna continue to stuff those because I have to continue to live and eat and all those things. Now here in my sinking funds binder, zoom this back out. So I am going to suspend the medical envelope because we already have a good amount of money in here. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95 dollars in here. And myself nor my daughter has any type of medical appointments coming up. So we'll be fine with pausing the medical envelope. Auto care. Let's see what we have in here. 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 200. So I just got my car serviced, so I should be okay to um, pause this envelope. Now, car registration, I actually do need to take the money out of here. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 300. So I'm actually going to be depositing this money because I need to pay for my registration. So we're going to suspend this envelope. I'm actually not going to be stuffing this hair. Now I am going to still contribute to hair. <laughs> I know you guys are like, well, what? So I have a hair appointment coming up in September. My birthday is in September and I do want to get my hair done. 
and so I am going to continue to contribute it to, to this envelope. Right now we have 120, 25, 30, 35. And I need to save about another 100 and about $50. So I will contribute. I will continue to contribute to this envelope. I'm going to pause close. Uh, girls day. I'm not going to be having a girls day soon because um, the girls day is going to be at my house. Let's see holidays pausing that pausing birthdays pausing car wash i am not pausing nails i know you guys are like are your priorities in order yes they are <laughs> support i am gonna pause support i'm gonna pause investing planner bay i am pausing beauty counter i am not pausing the reason why is because I only wash my face with um, beauty counter products and if I run out then I'll have to use regular soap and I really don't want to go back to using regular soap on my face because I really love the way these products work on me and then saving challenge I am still going to contribute to the savings challenge envelope the reason why is because this money in here i am using for christmas and um i just really 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 um want to have a great christmas my very first christmas in my new house okay and the envelopes in here i am going to need to take the tr money out of this trash sinking fund and I am going to continue contributing to trash and HOA which is going to be a new envelope so we have 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 60, 60, 63 so I'm going to be depositing this in a bank because it is also time for me to pay my trash I pay my trash once a quarter and it is time to pay that okay so Currently, as I am doing my project, I am still going to contribute to these envelopes, okay? So let me put this in my bank deposit so I can go and make this deposit in the bank. So now let's talk about how all of my bills these the majority of these bills are my monthly bills and some of them are quarterly bills okay only a couple of them so let me first talk about the reason why I am um, so the reason why I want to create a buffer in my bill account is because number one, after I'm done paying my bills, I do not like seeing close to zero dollars in my bill account. I do not like that. So I figured if I create a bill account, then it'll make me feel better because money is about feelings and it's about emotion sometimes. And so after I've paid all of my bills, even though I'm not broke, because I have an emergency fund and another account, I have money in other accounts, but in that particular account, I just feel broke. So I decided to create a buffer. That's number one. Number two, I also decided to create a buffer because I wanna put all of my bills on auto pay, the majority of them. And so in order for me to do that, I need to have a buffer so that I always have that money coming in and, and cycling in my account. Um, right now, I'm just putting a certain amount in that particular account to cover the bills. And then once all of that is done, then I'm back at close to zero. Okay, so those are the reasons why I'm creating a buffer in my account. And this does not have anything to do with my emergency fund. This is totally separate. Emergency fund is if an emergency happens, I lose all of my income, my main uh, job. This here is for my bill account only. I'm just putting a buffer in there, which is essentially me being one month ahead, okay? First, we're gonna start with my HOA. 
my HOA is $280, okay? And let me also say that my mortgage is, I'm not gonna put my mortgage here because number one, I don't pay my mortgage out of my bill account. I have a separate mortgage account that only houses my mortgage and that money goes straight there. And so the mortgage is already set up and, and protected and complete and all that good stuff. So this is strictly for anything else outside of mortgage. And this is really my house bills. So next is gas company. Now we do know that the gas is going to fluctuate. However, because we are in the summertime, I am not really using much gas. So my bill has been around between 30 and 40 bucks. So I'm just gonna indicate $50. Next is Edison. And this is my electricity bill. I finally got my, my electricity turned on in my name, finally you guys and um i haven't even gotten a bill yet so i'm just gonna predict fifty dollars next is my water bill my water bill has been around i've only gotten three bills and it's kind of fluctuated between my 40 and about 40 something dollars so i'm for my water bill i'm just gonna say fifty dollars next is trash now my trash bill is um my trash bill is quarterly so I'm gonna put a hundred dollars for trash next is my solar I do have some so I get a solar bill and I've only got one bill and so it was like $58 so I'm gonna say $60 next is ADT I do have a security system on my home and that's $79 a month next is spectrum this is my internet and cable. Spectrum is $130. Now I do get a rebate for my job every month of $60, which covers the internet. So I just still wanna have the $130 in there. I am considering cutting off cable. We'll, we'll see what happens. Next is cell phone. Oops. And for the cell phone, it's $50. Next is car insurance. And for the car insurance, it is $100. And then that's it. So now let's calculate the totals. So HOA is 260, 50, 50, 50, 100, 60, 79, 130, 50 and 100 so that's a total of 949 dollars i am going to round this up and i am going to just say a thousand dollars but for me a thousand dollars is really cutting it close so i'm actually going to say 1500 this is what i want to have in my bill buffer account okay this is what we are going to be saving for the month of august All right, so to help me stay motivated, I am going to be using my savings tracker and we're going to be calling this the BAB project. And then the goal is 1,500. And basically what I did, I have 10 lines here and I took 1,500 and I divided it and I divided it by 10, which if we divide this by 10, so $150. So the very first time I save $150, we'll complete that line. Next is $300. Next is $450. Next is $600. Next is $750. Next is $900. Next is $1,050. Next is $1,200. Next is 
next is $1,350 and then next is $1,500 so I am super excited about the BAB project and we are going to be getting our bill account um, straight <laughs> and then I am going to be able to put the majority of my bills on auto pay I don't like having to log in and pay these bills because it's just annoying honestly so perfect I hope that you guys really enjoyed my video I hope that this was very helpful um, to you for you to know basically how to create a buffer in your bill account or a buffer just in any one of your accounts. So I hope that this is very helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the um, just please leave them down in the comment section. If you are new here, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. If you liked any of this, please give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for your time. And what do I always tell you guys? Go be great. Peace out.